Welcome to the Steve Stein Guitar Podcast, brought to you by GuitarZoom.com. If you want to improve your guitar playing, keep listening. If you want to improve even faster, go to GuitarZoom.com, where you'll find all of Steve's premium courses, masterclasses, and memberships that'll help you quickly and easily improve your playing. Now, here's your host, Steve Stein. Hey, Steve Stein here. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, what we're going to be doing is talking about three things that I think are very important for you to practice on a daily basis. Whether you've been playing guitar for a little while, maybe you're just starting, or you've just gotten a guitar and you're interested in learning how to play, I think these three things are very, very important. And what we're going to be doing, actually, is on January 8th at LessonFace.com at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, I'm actually going to be teaching a class where we're going to talk about all of these things in more detail. So if you're interested, head over to LessonFace.com and check out that class that I'm going to be doing and join me there, okay? So the three things we're going to be talking about are strumming, chording, and songs. But before we get into those, the first thing I want to tell you is I always tell all my students, practice on the days that you eat, okay? I would always rather you practice, even if it's only five minutes or 10 minutes a day, But pick up the guitar, have the guitar somewhere in your house or in your studio or at your office or whatever it might be where you see it every day and it tells you, hey, I need to pick this up and play it, right? If you play every day, it's far better than, you know, only playing once a week or twice a week or something like that. Even if it's for longer periods of time on those days, I'd rather you pick it up every single day because your brain tends to remember these things and just that repetition of daily practice really helps, okay? That's not the tip. But that's something I want you to think about. And the second thing is finding a way to stay motivated. Because let's be honest, anytime you're learning how to do something like guitar or anything like that, it can get frustrating sometimes. And so you want to be able to step back and remember you're trying to have fun with this as well, even though it's not always going to be that way. But you are. You're trying to find a way to stay motivated. And so that's why these three things I think are very important. So the first one is talking about strumming, learning how to take that guitar pick and make up things on the guitar that sound musical, that sound real. Not just necessarily a strumming pattern per se, where we do like down, 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 up, down, or something like that, but really learning that when we add things like dynamics, like strumming hard and strumming soft, and putting those together, strumming a little, strumming a little bit more, different things like that, it can really bring out the musicality of what we're trying to do. So if I take my second tip is, is practicing chords on a daily basis. I hope you're enjoying this episode so far and you're getting motivated to take your guitar playing to the next level. Please do me a favor and leave us a rating on Apple Podcasts. It'll help the show grow and reach more rock stars like you who want to improve their guitar playing. Also, I'd love to know what parts of the episode you liked as well as what you learned. So please share this podcast and tag us at guitarzoom.com on your social post. And now, Let's get back to the podcast. Now, what are chords? Chords are when you strum a bunch of strings at the same time, and you learn how to do these different things with your hand, which we're going to be talking about as well. But not just learning chords, but learning the right chords, and then learning different key ways of being able to move between them efficiently, quickly, cleanly. So you can start doing the third tip, which is learning how to play songs. If you take the strumming and you take the chords and you put those together and then you take a song that you want to learn how to play that can utilize those chords, utilize that strumming, you're playing music. So if you think about it this way, if I get home from work or get home from school or whatever and I grab my guitar and I'm listening to the radio or I'm listening to a song I like or a CD that I like or whatever, and I start trying to just kind of play along with it. You know, I pick a song I like and I just start doing this. Now, what I want you to notice is as I'm doing that, I'm being very consistent with the way I'm moving my hand. I'm not going, you know, something like that. I keep this very constant. And again, that's something we're going to talk about in the class. So then what I do is I come over here and I start working with my cording or my fretting hand. This is called a fretboard, so I'm going to press down on things. And what I want to practice over here is making these chords over and over and over, training my hand, training my brain to think about these chords and identify which chords go with which. For instance, a G chord, which you may or may not know, a C chord and a D chord are very important to learn connected to each other because we use those a lot to be able to play songs. So if I can learn shortcuts to be able to play this G and this C and this D quickly 
and cleanly, and I can learn to take that and add this strumming to it. I get music, you see? Which brings us to the third tip, which is learning songs. Taking wherever you are in your guitar journey, whatever chords you know, whatever strumming you know, and developing those things, and then finding songs that utilize that information. When I was first learning how to play, I didn't understand that, and I would always kind of do that backwards, where I would be working on stuff, but then the songs that I wanted to learn how to play didn't connect to the content that I was working on, the ideas that I was working on. And so when I started teaching, I would always make sure that students understood, look, if we're working on these chords, what we should do or find, we should find some songs that use those chords. So now everything is connected together. Make sure the song isn't way too fast, that sort of thing. And again, we're going to talk about all of this stuff in the live class at LessonFace.com. So make sure that you head over and you check that out, okay, and get signed up if you'd like to. And we'll go from there. So think about those three things every day. Practice on the days that you eat, obviously. Try and practice your rhythm playing, which for me is my right hand. Practice my chording, which is my left hand. And then I'm going to find some songs that utilize those things that I'm working on, whether I'm playing G and C and D, or maybe you're learning A and D and E, whatever it might be. And I want to find some songs that use those so I can pull all of this stuff together. All right. So take care, stay positive, And I hope to see you on January 8th. Okay. So make sure you check out over at LessonFace.com. If you enjoyed today's podcast and want to learn guitar even faster, go to GuitarZoom.com and click the Get Started button to get access to courses that are right for your interest and skill level. Again, go to GuitarZoom.com and click the Get Started button.